northwest side of Lake Harriet is one of the most popular spots in the whole of the Minneapolis park system. Got the band shell, got the bread and pickle restaurant right there, got the big park. Plenty of events going on right here. But I wonder how many people would realize that this area also contains a lot of history as well as the, the oldest buildings in the whole of the park system. And it's not the band shell, and it's not some grandiose uh, Vic Victorian mansion. No, who would realize? It's the bathrooms. The bathrooms of Lake Harriet, dating to 1892, both the women's here and the men's across the street that we'll look at in just a second. These were built these and the superintendent's building in Loring Park are the oldest buildings in the Minneapolis park system. Both built and designed in 1892 by Harry Wilde Jones, who also designed the first band shell. Again, built in 1892 at the same time as the original band show. And I think if you look at it, you can really see the resemblance to the original design from 129 years ago. Even the color. Uh, but you can certainly see how it would have matched the original band show over there. Of course, the original band show would have been right there in the distance where the current band shell is and burned down in 1903, the first of a series of band shells to occupy that spot. But that is a different video. They operated continuously from 1892 until 1990 when they closed for, for rehab and to remodel for a $250,000 facelift. Although I have it from uh, real good information from someone who's real close to me, and who grew up living right over there, that the men's bathroom was closed most of the 80s with a porta potty sitting out there. The women's bathroom was closed from 1990 until 2002 when it reopened. I don't know how long it's been since the men's bathroom has been in operation, but it sure doesn't appear to be now. Now, the women's bathroom seems to be faring a lot uh, better than its counterpart across the way there. Uh, upkeep seems to be in much better shape over here for whatever reason. Maybe it's more visible uh, position. Maybe it's because it's bigger. I don't know. It's got this big fancy room over here on the left. Great in the wintertime for a warming. I don't know if you can see it over there. It's got a big fireplace. There it is big fireplace across the room there and then benches all around the edge and you can just hang out here and get warm and I get out of the cold and it's a pretty sweet looking set up I'm trying not to look too creepy uh, shooting in the women's bathroom window but this, it's been closed all year so we're all right all right of course like everything else it's shut off it's just a decorative bathroom kind of a looking bathroom not so much a using bathroom anymore All right, so imagine you've ridden your horse out from downtown Minneapolis some four miles away, and you've made it all the way to Lake Harriet. And you've come out to the lake, and you've um, apparently used the fancy bathrooms, obviously. <clears throat> What's the uh, first thing you're, you and your horse are gonna want? Water. And you would have come right here to the, to the well pump. Still pumping out water as it's been doing for over a century right here on the north side of the lake. You took the trolley in from the city instead of the horse. You would have gotten off right here at the Harriet Stud. But apparently they disembarked on the other side of the streetcars because they didn't want you walking back across the track. So they built you a tunnel. You could come right down 
the steps here and walk underneath the train tracks and I'd be out of everybody's way. Now I have it from my good source that uh, this was quite the party spot back in the 80s. Um, she heard, of course, never would have done it herself, but she heard that this was quite the party hangout uh, back in the day. enjoyed this little look at some of the historical sites here in the northwest part of Lake Harry. As always, sometimes history, you don't have to go digging for it in the microfiche or online or on a historical website. A lot of it's still here, plain sight. <laughs>